This video is going to review the insertion of an oral pharyngeal airway in an infant. So an OPA or oral pharyngeal airway is inserted in the mouth of the patient that's unresponsive or has a GCS, a Glasgow Coma Scale rating of 3, to help assist keeping the tongue out of the airway when we're especially providing assisted ventilations or CPR to a patient. So the patient has to be completely unresponsive or a GCS of 3 in order to accept this device. So the oral airway is measured from the corner of the patient's mouth to the angle of their jaw or their earlobe. Either measurement is acceptable. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your OPA, you're going to line it up to the patient and try to measure it. So here we have the angle of the jaw and we can see this is quite large. So we're going to need a smaller size. So we can take our blue here. We've got the corner of the jaw right there. So that's a nice size there. And then on this Baby here, we can see corner of the mouth to the ear is that size there. So you're going to take the closest two. Now, infants do not have a defined hard palate like an adult. You can feel it's all soft in here. So we're not going to do that same upside down technique. We're actually going to insert the airway as it will sit in the patient using a tongue depressor just to move the tongue out of the way. So we're going to put our tongue depressor in the mouth just to hold the tongue out of the way. We're going to enter from the side, place the oral airway down, and again, it's just going to sit just at the top of the mouth, and then we can put our, our bag valve mask, our resuscitation mask here, and provide our ventilations. If the patient vomits, wakes up, gags, then we can just pull the oral airway straight out. If it's full of fluid, you can try to clear it or get a new one, and only reinsert it if the patient is still at a GCS of 3 or completely unresponsive. So that's our oral pharyngeal airway insertion for infants.